I'm Kenny Tyner, stop motion animator of Father and Son Studios, and I'm going to show you how to build an armature. In case you're wondering how I get my puppets to animate the way I can, you know, some of them don't have armatures, but quite a few of them do, and armatures are very important for stop motion animation. And I think it might be best if I just show you how I make my armatures so that your animations can come out better if you are making animations. And if you're just here to learn, well, good for you. The following supplies, you're going to need dowels, uh, long wooden rods, or chopsticks if you, you need a pencil, paper, measuring tape, craft wire, you know, or like aluminum wire, uh, tape, I use duct tape, you know, you can use masking tape, masking tape works good too, the scissors, yeah, that's about it, oh yeah, and ingenuity. Alright, I'll be making a humanoid armature, humanoid puppet armature. Alright, as you see, I just drew an outline of a man. That's basically it. If it's for a particular character, you might want to add more detail to the face and add robes and such, you know, depending upon what the character is. But let's just say, for all purposes, this is just a basic character, a humanoid character. And now you need to decide where the bending points are. Okay, so your knees bend, so you're going to need... So that's where you're going to need, uh... And then you have to decide where you can put bones. Or, well, in this case, the bones are the dowels. So then we have... This will be like our pelvic bone, so to speak. And this would be like the chest piece right here. Now, it's very important to know how tall your puppet's going to be. That way you'll know the length of the bones. And so, I want this new puppet with this new armature to be about as tall as Explorer Joe. So I take my tape measure and measure. And he, Explorer Joe, is about 8 inches. Alright, to break it down to a science, those whole heights will be eight inches. Now the head will probably be about an inch tall. So that leaves seven inches for the rest of the body. And uh, basically the hands reach down to the waist as you can see. So you're going to divide it like this into like two sections. And of course this is the breaking point. So obviously this height right here from the neck down to the waist will be approximately 3.5 inches. And on here this lower part will be 3.5 inches, roughly. So that makes each of these about an inch and three-fourths. Now we do the same thing here. Obviously by now we can tell inch and three-fourths, inch and three-fourths, and that will all add up to about eight inches approximately. Alright, here's one of my dowels. Again, you can use uh, chopsticks if you want. Alright, and so we are going to make all the legs and all the arm and leg bones. See that? That is one bone. And now we just cut it off. These scissors, or if you got better tools, use them. Just be careful when you're using the scissors. I, 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 I'm kind of rotating it as I'm cutting it with these big scissors. Like that. So eventually it gets weakened and it can easily break off. Like that. And then you just uh, mark the other bones on the rod and continue the cutting process. Okay, now you see, you know how I said that these were like a inch and three-fourths? Well this whole space is supposed to be an inch and three-fourths. So therefore these bones are going to be slightly shorter. And I'm going to take each of these as you see them, and I'm going to cut each in half. Alright, um, first thing we're going to start off with will be the spinal cord. Okay. So uh, we cut a pretty long length, very long, very long indeed, and now we start with this end and sort of wrap it around, okay, that way your aluminum wire is safe. And now you just wrap around this wire, I mean, wrap around this bone, as you can see, you just kind of twist around. Now as you can see, it's starting to end, it's going to be a pain to do this. Yeah, that's a problem. You want, you want to consider yourself somewhere you can uh, carefully measure out the length of wire you need for your puppet. I just kind of do it random, and I just have more pieces on if I have to. Now just try to do a good length, and just twist around. The wire is important aspect to the character. Now you see, like, oh no, my leg, my beautiful leg. Sorry, I can't focus either. At least manual. Alright, um, so this is the last of the spool. Cut. Okay, so let's make another foot. Oh yeah, both of them are. So just make another foot to complete it. Ta-da, I don't need even though any more beautiful feet. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, the foot. Okay. Now we just kind of connect to these. You know, kind of twist the wire a bit. Now we take. Now you use the portion you need. Tape, tape is everything. And now we get our tape. Hmm. 
do. Now what we want to do is that we want to coat the wire with duct tape because we don't want it to... Because you see, if you don't do that, uh, it can lead to complications later. Because as you're animating it, you can tear up the clay puppets from the inside out. Okay, you're going to make a loop for the foot. Because this will be what the foot. Like that. See? Okay. Uh, now you got your foot. You twist the wire around here. See? Like that. Once you do so, you get some tape. Tape it on there. Ta-da! Want to see more magic? Look! We do it to, to a second bone. Now what do we do? We take this wire, the remainder of it, and wrap it around here. Ta-da! Like that. Alright, now let's move on to the hand. It's pretty much the same as the foot, really. Alright, let's build us a hand. Well, okay, we won't actually build a hand. Because the hand is everything. Alright, we just need like a little s twisted stub. So I'm just going to twist this long strand up. Just wrap it around like that. Secure. Now we leave in a little bit of space here. We twist the wire around. Now, I'm going to do something I have never done before with my armatures. I am going to take some some tape and actually put it on top of the bending points just to see how it would work out. You know? Because with filmmaking, there's always more experimentation. And the armature is pretty much finished. But I am going to take one extra step. I am going to take some cardboard and cut little pieces off that are about the same size as these feet. There we go. Got my two pieces of cardboard. And there is your finished armature. The little head stub, the feet. Yep. It's all worthwhile. Because it always helps make your puppet stand better. So I hope you enjoyed this t tutorial. And see you next time. And a little engineering. Never hurt anybody. Alright. Bye bye.